actually going to give you a fun fact. It took me all the way to uploading that last episode for me to realize and remember there's a whole foosball table right behind me. Hello everyone, I'm Toxic Viper and welcome back to another community episode reaction. Today we got season 3, episode 10 for y'all. At the time of recording, I haven't made a community post yet about this. Um, I'm probably going to and definitely before this video comes out. But if you haven't seen the post uh, about having uh, certain weeks in the year being a break for me, then uh, go check out those other dates. But next week, I will be off as it is spring break for me. Now, I'm doing this for multiple reasons. One, because, you know... These weeks are either big holiday weeks or also just when things start getting hectic at work, like in the summer uh, when we transition into full time. These weeks will give me sort of a break. Not really because in all honesty, the biggest one is because if I don't take these breaks um, or breaks in uploading, then I will just catch up again to myself. And I'm still gonna try and take as much time off those weeks, of course, because I don't wanna just over stress myself. But when I do have time to make a video, I will, because I need time to uh, get back away from where these uploads are coming out, because I used to be six weeks ahead, and now I'm three weeks only. And hopefully I'll understand, and the post will have all the other dates for um, at least this year, in them so go check that out if you haven't but last episode last episode if you didn't get from the intro man a lot of foosball and a lot of bonding from Jeff and Shirley so yeah that was kind of not expected but she was just a god at foosball out of nowhere Jeff said he quit after some bullies basically made him quit. So they were teaching, she was teaching him so he can defeat some Europeans that were just being too loud and they just wanted them out. But then in the end, we realized that the bully that actually made Jeff quit was Shirley. And we had a little match, a little bit of animation, and then we, but then we settled everything pretty quickly. And uh, we just seemed to really have a good bond between them uh, up here. And then also we had. Uh, Abed as Batman. Um, no more explanation there. He was just Batman. I'm interested to see where this next episode goes, so join me in the reaction. What in the hell? Uh, I guess it's a Christmas episode. Found something we could watch together for Christmas this year. The long lost 1981 Inspector Space Time holiday special. Runtime two and a half hours, and so critically reviled Jesus. that after it aired, the creator had his knighthood revoked. What? I'm spending the day with my relatives while they refuse to acknowledge Christmas. You Jehovah Witnesses. <coughs> I'll be at the movies with my booby. You know, You're what? Taking both of them? Well, one's dead. What? Oh my god, he died. Never mind. <laughs> I was thinking we could have some lighthearted fun as a family. I think what we've learned, Abed, is that attempts to make the holidays brighter tend to give them a certain darkness. I think Abed wants the same thing that happened last year. Glee Club here, reminding you that our Christmas pageant is coming next up. Ugh. Regionals. Okay. You're awfully quiet, Jeff. Nobody hates Glee Club more than you. Today I'm just content to sit back and enjoy the show. Hey, oh my dancer. God. Okay. Stop. What? Cease. <laughs> And desist. Protecting musical copyrights since 19. Well, this is the one time I will say thank you to Chang. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. We were never here. What the hell just happened? It's not that deep, man. This is the second Glee Club we've lost in two years. We might have to Oh yeah, didn't the other Glee Club die? When the last Glee Club died in that bus crash, I was right. And you were the best gosh darn emergency substitutes I've ever worked with. Pass. Yeah. Yeah, they're not doing it. Okay. He is equal play. Hanson and Manson. Nobody let him corner you. Jesus. He is out of recruitment mode. Or next oh no. We'll all be caring about Christmas pageants and regionals. Right. Yeah. Deal. Agreed. Gotcha. Albert's gonna be the one to fold because he wants everyone to be together. It's for my friends and I to have a Merry Christmas together. Well, 
Maybe you could start by I was right. giving them the greatest Christmas gift of all. Glee, it's a feeling you get when your brain finally lets your heart get in its pants. What? <laughs> How's your piano still playing this song? Okay. Answer when questions are wrong. Glee, what is happening? <laughs> Is it? Is it? I'm gonna try to get my friends to be in the Christmas pageant. <sighs> this might go. Oh my God! Terribly wrong, but Jesus Christ! Abed, you look gleeful. Troy, don't you think it might actually be fun doing this Christmas pageant for the Glee Club? Abed, we hate the Glee Club. Yeah. I'm a Jehovah's Witness. I may have a loophole. What if you were a Jehovah's Witness that was merely pretending to be into Christmas? Like a spy investigating? Okay, now we're already- Okay, this is gonna be a very singing and dancing episode, I can tell. Oh my. This is- This is where a child is gonna be, you know, was born. What is going on? What? Wait. <laughs> never let me rap with you. Well, we're gonna need all hands on deck if we're gonna go to regionals. Uh oh. Where's our table? Oh God. Sorry about the rearrangement. We need the space to rehearse for the pageant. But we're not doing the pageant. There's your generation invented music. I don't know. About what? Directed <laughs> maybe. Okay. <laughs> Santa Claus was born in 1945. He had a boogie woogie Coca-Cola army. And when the commies gave the polio to Doris Day. What the hell is happening? <laughs> Baby boom Santa. Fake butter and AIDS and twin AIDS? Oh my god. What is happening? Both have really strong voices. Natural vibrato. There's also Britta. Britta's adorable. Damn. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, you got trapped. Jeff, I think I know what Mr. Rad is up to. There's something you have to see. Oh no, she's trying to get Jeff. Mr. Rad plans to get every single member of our study group to join the Glee Club. Well, I don't know how he thinks that's gonna happen. I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> Teach me how to understand Christmas. They're not doing this with Annie. Is this a bit? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Do I trim the tree or the deer? <laughs> Where does the stocking go? Here? Won't you be my daddy? I'm a silly okay. baby. Tell me what to do. <laughs> No, they didn't get Jeff, right? I mean, can't blame him. It feels like a very special birthday, but whose name should be on the cake? We're falling. Because they can't tell us. Was anyone important born today? Oh my god. No way, Britta is the last one. That's not at all where I thought that was going. Okay. Oh no. Okay, I didn't need that. <laughs> I could not have done this without your recruiting skills, Abed. I was happy to do it. For a while there, I thought we were going to end the semester on a really dark note. We win regionals, then it's straight on to sectionals, and then a week later is semis, then semi. Oh, he's then realizing then there's semis, more and more and more. Lower zone semis. Oh, this is forever. Oh Jesus! This is what we do now. This is who we are. Gee, oh my God, why does he look okay? <laughs> I just talked to Corey, and he needs you to be the Mouse King instead of me. Me? But I'm supposed to be a mute tree. It's an emergency. <laughs> what is his plan here? Christmas oh God. 
Grit is in this? Never sing again! You are the worst! Hey! Oh, god damn. You do not get to call Britta the worst. <laughs> <laughs> this show is supposed to be gleeful and bright and fun, and you can let me do that, or there can be another bus crash! Oh. Wait. Figuratively. <laughs> Wait a I'm second. No. I killed the last Glee Club. No fucking way. Look, Kings of Leon. He killed them? What? What did he say? Did Mr. Red kill the last Glee Club? Maybe Jeff's right. What? Maybe forcing things to be bright just makes the darkness underneath even darker. Sorry. Merry Christmas. I guess I'll just see you guys after the holidays. <sighs> Don't just go, though. Blimey! A hologram. Huh? Let's activate it and view the performance. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> been a dark semester i basically killed hmm. a guy and i kind of attached you guys with a fire axe oh that did happen you shrink. what okay <laughs> okay it's gonna be all the side characters <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that was good. Well. <laughs> uh, I didn't really think we could really top last Christmas episode, but we did. This was good. It had some great fun and funny moments. It was just really good. I'm gonna talk about a lot of different things, I can already tell you. I guess I never really realized it really has been a very kind of dark semester for them. And I guess I didn't really put it together mostly because we like had no school, but that should have been what gave it away to me, honestly. It's been dealing with more personal things, with things outside of school. And at first I kind of forgot who he killed. I was like, when did we accidentally kill someone? But no, it was actually um, Pierce's dad, I forgot about that. These Abed episodes with the past two Christmas episodes, they kind of feel like, not really an attack at me, but like, I can definitely relate with it. I hate change. Very, very much. It holds me back a lot in life. And I know not being able to deal with ch change is um, considered a... Uh, a type of thing that a lot of people on the spectrum or autistic people deal with and I know it's implied that Abed is either on the spectrum or autistic so you definitely see how he can't deal with change a lot either especially these past couple of months at work at school even doing YouTube things have changed a lot and I myself have trying to cope with it so seeing other people even if it is fictional but I know there's people out there and it reminds me of that have sh to struggle with change it kind of I don't it kind of warms me up I guess but enough about that um I really did like the episode uh I was not expecting going into this a lot of singing and dancing, but that's exactly what we got. We got bits of childish Gambino with the rapping. Um, the fucking Annie thing. Who can blame him? Although it was getting a little weird. Come on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I will say the Pierce one dragged on a little bit. <laughs> And the Shirley one, of course, had to mention, <laughs> like, religion and the politics of it. <laughs> of course, it just had to. Really funny. I loved really every part of it. It was really cool. And then the implication that he killed the last Glee Club is wild, by the way. Fucking wild. Apparently, we're in the next semester, which is crazy, because 
unless I don't know, I haven't really checked. I assumed it's still 24 episodes, like it's usually been, or maybe it's 22, either way. It's still a little early to have the end of the semester, especially because, like I said, we have like no part of the school stuff, really. So now we're just on to the next semester, next episode, most likely. I don't know what's in store. I don't know what class we're all taking together. I don't know what, I don't know. I just don't know. That's really all I have to talk about. Um, if you like this video, give it a like, of course. And if you like this video, go ahead and check out any of the other shows on the schedule currently. You can also wait at the end of every month on the last Sunday where there's also a movie reaction. So if you like any of those other videos, then go ahead and subscribe because obviously you like my content. Like I said, give this video a like if you liked it. Remember that next week I won't be uh, uploading, but I will the next week after that. So in two weeks. But I'll see you in the next reaction. Give it to me, I'ma slide. Treat me like that other guy. Ain't talking about what we gon' hit them up on both sides. If it's more like go can nigga, I don't wanna talk about it. You would think the chopper was a hoe, could it be got bodies? Murder that she wrote. They keep saying that they bout it, been like go and do it. I sent some sons out to my uncle, he vote with my music. Keep it